Yeah, we had um, June uh, payrolls rise by 209,000, coming in below expectations. That's the first time in many months it's missed. And it was kind of a weird jobs report as there was a huge jump in the ADP private payroll numbers the day before, double estimates saying nearly 500,000 jobs were added. And the markets really traded off that. And you had rates spiking and stocks going down. And this is all despite the fact that in the investing community, everybody says, oh, everybody knows ADP isn't really correlated to the official figures. We always kind of dismiss it. But I guess this one was too much of a temptation not to dismiss. So this jobs figure today looked really, really kind of anemic compared to yesterday's ADP number and below expectations, but actually underneath it was another gain of more than 200,000 jobs and unemployment rate falling again down to 3.6%. So I think the market eventually focused on that and saw like another solid jobs report and something that may worry the Fed is higher than expected wage growth. Tell me about CPI next week. Well, CPI is coming out next Wednesday, and um, it's going to be the last big number uh, before the Fed meeting in in July. The expectations are for a 0.3% rise on headline and on core, which should bring down the annual rates again. So people are looking for this continued uh, decline in U.S. inflation, um, hoping that trend continues. And uh, the Fed will, of course, be watching very closely. The market seems to have already made up its mind. It's pricing in more than 90% chance that they're going to hike by a quarter point at, at their next meeting. You can take a step back and look what these numbers mean for the real economy, and it can paint a different picture. So let's say CPI comes in as expected, or maybe even a little softer, a little cooler than expected. Um, you can see some some of the um, housing and rent equivalent numbers coming down. Some are predicting that as a whispered number. And what that means is, of course, inflation goes down, prices are going down. But if you combine that with today's average hourly earnings rise of 0.4% in the employment report, suddenly you've got rising incomes and lowering inflation. So you've got a big jump in real income. So suddenly people are have you know more money in their pockets and things are costing less. That's good. That's That's solid for the U.S. economy.